In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SNF2. This is called tin 2 fluoride. So the first thing that we need to do is count up the electrons, the valence electrons for SNF2. Tin is in group 14, sometimes called 4A, four valence electrons. Fluorine group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons. We have two of them, so times two. That gives us a total of 18 valence electrons for SNF2. It's important to note that we're drawing the Lewis structure for SNF2 in the gas phase. If it isn't gaseous, it's a little bit different structure. So let's assume we have a gaseous form of SNF2 as we draw the Lewis structure. We'll put tin in the center. That's the least electronegative. And let's just put the fluorine atoms on either side. So we have 18 total valence electrons. Let's put electrons between atoms. That'll form the chemical bonds. So we'll put those there. And then we can complete the octets on each of the fluorine atoms. So at this point, we've used 16 valence electrons. We only have two more. So let's put a pair of valence electrons here on the tin. And that's really all we can do with this Lewis structure. So the fluorines, they have to have eight. They need to have an octet. They're good. The tin, it doesn't have an octet. But for tin, it's an exception to the octet rule. It doesn't have to have eight. So this is the Lewis structure for SNF2. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry real quickly. So we can see that the tin has one, two, three things attached to it, three steric groups. So we're here at three, and it has this right here is a lone pair, so one lone pair. So we end up with a bent molecular geometry. The angle should be about 120. With these fluorines, it might be a little bit different. So we have a bent molecular geometry for the gaseous phase of SNF2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.